Hi, I'm Cody, and I'll be your guide as we look at form payments in the Church Community Builder system. Let's get started. To begin, let's take a look at how to set up your form to collect payments, and then we will look at recording those transactions in the system. Click on the More menu on the left and select Forms. Open the form that you would like to accept payments on. On the Form Settings tab, make sure that the Payment and Discount section has a payment option selected. You can add a discount code if needed for the form. Just realize that you must select a COA here and the discount is only applied to fees with the same COA. Once you've set up the form settings, you can add either the product ticket question or the donation question to the form to accept payments. The product ticket question will allow you to add multiple items to pay for. Enter the name of the item, the price, the chart of account to apply the money to, a minimum and or a maximum quantity, and finally, the total available items. The quantity and the total available are optional. Remember to click Save when you are done. If you need to use the donation question, you can add the question and then select the chart of accounts to apply that donation amount. Make any other changes to the form and click I'm finished when you are done. Once people begin to fill out the form and send in payments, you have two options. First, if the person is using a credit debit card, the transaction is automatically applied to the form and there is nothing to set on the form itself. A financial admin will need to log into the finance system and select Forms. In step one, if the form manager has not matched the people on the form, either the financial admin or the form manager will need to match the person before the transaction can be batched. See our video on form management for more help with matching people. On step two, select all the payments that have been made and at the bottom click Create Transactions. You will be asked to put those form payments into a batch. You can either create a new batch or add them to an existing one. Click Save when you are done. The second option for form payments is accepting cash or check. You will need to manually add the transaction to the system before placing it into a batch. In order to do this, a financial admin will need to go to More and then Finances and click on the Forms tab. After matching, click on Step 2 and this time you will notice that there are items in the list that are marked as unpaid. Click on the Unpaid link. You will be taken to a transaction screen where you can create the transaction for the full amount of the form payment. If you have only a partial payment, you will need to wait until the full payment is made before entering it here. You have two options for entering the payment. First, if you want to create a new transaction for the amount, click on the Payment Status and select Paid. You can then enter the payment details and click Save when you are done. If the transaction has already been entered into the system and you are needing to link the form payment to that transaction, select the Match to Existing Transaction option. You will be presented with a list of possible transactions that match the amount and the COA. If you are using this method, remember, it will only search through transactions for the last 60 days and if for some reason the existing transaction doesn't match in the amount or COA, it won't show up and you may need to edit the existing transaction. Select the transaction that should be used for the form payment and select Save. Once you have entered all the cash or check payments, you will need to select all of those payments to be entered into a batch, just like you did with the credit debit card transactions. Click the Create Transactions button and either select an existing batch or create a new one and click Save. Back in your form, you should now see that all payments have been received. This is especially helpful if the finance person is entering the transactions. The form manager can see the results here without having to ask for the status of the form payments. There you have it, form payments. 
You can accept them via credit debit card if you have a merchant provider set up, or you can also accept them by cash or check. For more information on forms, see our other videos and help articles.